So here it is. Ooh, yeah. But watch yourself, Mark. Because <gasps> oh! this scalpel just got sharper. <laughs> That's so cheap. <laughs> So this is KTM's brand new 890 Duke R. What, what a bike. A, yeah, what a, I mean. Well, they're saying the scalpel just got sharper. So obviously we tested uh, the 790 Duke last year, or this year, sorry, in July. Yeah. And we were massive fans of that bike, Mark, weren't we? 100%, great bike to ride, great handling, tremendous engine, real showpiece of a motor. And what's it, was, it had loads of go, didn't it? Yeah, loads of torque, instant performance in every gear. Once you've got it right to the very top of the rev range, then it runs out of puff. But where you want the performance is where you've got the performance. Yes. So for road use, particularly, huge fun. Huge but, fun. But of course, like with the 1290, what they've decided to do is kind of just dial everything up a couple of notches. Yes. And we've ended up with this bike, the 890R. Well, you've, so 890, I think, you know, for, for us, I think that was a surprise, you know, like mm. as in um, maybe if you're on the inside lines of KTM, you might be thinking, okay, well, you know, perhaps they'll make an 890 rather than a 790. For me, it was a surprise because I don't think either of us in that, when we rode the bike, were thinking, God, this needs some extra power. No, no. Um, So, you know, now it's up to 120, 20, 120 horsepower. Yeah. But um, which is a real, you know, power height this this thing is going to be rapid well you, you there's, <coughs> there's two fundamentals here aren't there you know because it's the r there's a lowered weight so you've dropped you've lost three kilos and they've, yes. do, they've they've done some very clever things to ensure the weight's been been dropped and they've improved performance they've upped the performance the engine power has gone up that in some ways is a kind of happy coincidence because with the new emissions legislation the euro 5 legislation they've had to do lots of the manufacturers have had to do many different things with their bikes to ensure that they can pass that emissions test and the way they've, they've, they've achieved that with this is in, in, increase the capacity of the motor and of course the 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 uh, the added benefit of that is more performance more power so not only have you got and we'll go into this i'm sure you know better suspension better brakes better electronics but you've got more performance you've got lighter weight those things only add up to one thing faster acceleration faster top speed more more torque more performance everywhere and a sharper tool basically so, yes and, and actually that's probably the one area that we said in our review um, if there was some areas that there was probably room for a 790 Duke R or yeah. a sharper version of that in terms of the brakes and the suspension. But it, there was and an that's exactly what they've done. Yeah, and there was an expectation from KTM's customer base and beyond that, that this bike was going to come. I think the surprise is that they have, they have up that capacity and given yeah. more, even more performance. But in terms of the, the, the technical aspects of the bike, where they've made improvements is pretty much across the board, isn't it? It is. So we start off with the suspension. Yeah. So now this is a fully adjustable WP Apex yeah. suspension. I've just come off a month of riding uh, Husqvarna, uh, Vic Pillen, yeah. which had the WP suspension. And I tell you what, the, the difference it makes is massive. I, I, I just really think that. Yeah. I mean, um, it handled so well that bike. It was, you know, nice suspension. I mean, it's not like it's rock hard or anything, Plush. but but by the time you really push it, and I did take it on track, you know, it really is a fantastic package. And I yeah. think this is going to make the bike so much sharper. Obviously, now it's fully adjustable as well. So if you're a bit heavier or a bit lighter, you can really dial that in to well, make it a be better uh, ride. The, 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 some of the focus around this is that is that potential owners, or K I, I assume that KTM's understanding is that potentially it's going to want to track the bike. Yeah. So not only do you get adjustable suspension, but you obviously get an adjustable uh, suite of electronics. There is a tech pack that you can add to this bike, as we know. Um, within that, you've got quick shifter, and you've also got a nine-way traction control, multiple adjustments, so you can really tailor the bike. So if you're going to use it on road, but then you want to take it on track and you want to do all of the different things that you want to do to set the bike up for you, you can do it with this new one. And of course, added to that is the improved brakes. You've got Brembo Stylema. Really impressive braking system. Yeah, and what we were talking about this before, but what they've actually done to lower the weight is they've kind of peppered holes in that caliper to reduce the weight and improve airflow to, to ensure that your brakes don't overheat. So they've thought of lots of different things with this new bike. I mean, and that, that's actually where some of the weight savings coming from, yeah. is the st st Stalema brake. Yes, and, and the tyres as well. Can you imagine, can you imagine that Stalema brake? Because it's actually the same one that's on the Duke car, for example. The 1290. Uh, the 1290 Super yeah. Duke car. Imagine that coupled with this weight. I mean, this is going to stop on a six, but yeah. it's going to yeah. be unbelievable well, braking. When we when we were in Italy and we were talking to to one of the guys on the stand there, he was saying 
that is the best Brembo radial caliper you can put on a motorcycle right now. That is their top of the range product. So, yeah, you know, they've, 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 they've not scrimped here. Obviously, that is reflected in the price somewhat, but you are getting a much higher caliber of, of hard parts on your bike, aren't you? Yeah. I mean, if you were to take those individual parts and then add yeah. that to the 790 price, you're going to be way more than that. Uh, Even just for the brakes, you know, they're going to cost you. Yeah. Um, you know, quite quite a lot of money. And the other thing that they've done, and where the other weight savings coming from, and the handling improvement, is the tyres. So, you know, I think with this uh, 890 Duke R, the purse strings have been uh, released a little bit. Yes. And we're not yeah. on Max's tyres anymore, we're on Michelin uh, Power Cups. Cup. Yeah. And uh, I haven't rode these tyres uh, myself, but I have rode some of the top end Michelin products. Yes. And they are phenomenally yeah. sticky tyres. Yeah. And I think that's going to transform it again yeah. and make it, you know, a really competitive machine. I mean, it, it is a serious bit of kit, this, isn't it? We already it know that, the, you know, the, the, the foundation of this bike, the 790, that base product is an outstanding product. Yes, you might you might concede that they've built it to a budget, but that's that's fine because that makes that bike attainable for a bigger audience. It does. And actually, the sum of its parts makes a fantastic motorcycle. All they've done now is said, OK, that's your base bike, bang, we're going to put on all of the, the top of the range pieces, we're going to up the power, and all of a sudden you've got a serious weapon. You have. A serious weapon what's going to be super interesting and I know we were talking about this off camera is how this is going to stand up against its competitors MTO 9 SP and of course the ubiquitous Triumph 765 Street Triple RS they're now on a very similar level price wise I think you were saying this is 10 this is 10 399 yeah. so 10 10 4 yeah. and, and the street to the street triple, triple. is 10 3 ish 10 4 very and very similar it's so competitive yeah. about the same power yeah mm, it, you know, you've got a really seriously competitive machine. Obviously, people were comparing the 790 Duke to the Street Triple uh, uh, 765. Yes. And, you know, it was it enough to get there? And arguably not. This one is a real contender for that. Absolutely. For that, I mean, uh, without any shadow of a doubt. And I think you are you really are going light for light now. I think well, you know, there's, there's there's some suggestion, wouldn't you, with the with the original 790 that you're not quite on a par in terms of hardware. Now they are. Yeah. So when they go head to head, it's going to be a very very interesting scenario, isn't it? I think the other quick things that we ought to mention aesthetically, obviously, you know, if it ain't broke, then there's nothing to fix. Really, the 790 is a great looking bike. So the, the overall profile is. Pretty Pretty much the same however seat cowl you can have that as standard and you can kind of choose whether or not you have a pillion seat or you have the seat cowl instead and, and i think we're both agreed that's better yeah especially you know ultimately if this is a for a lot of people it's going to be a track day tool that's the way to go isn't it Possibly. and one other thing i forgot to mention as well is handlebar position is slightly changed a lot of people look at the bikes and think mm, not quite the same but th this is actually a shallower bar okay so that loop on the bar is, is shallower so you're it's kind of pushing you aggressive yes exactly yeah. okay. exactly aside from that obviously new colorway new colorway uh i think we've covered it all actually yeah, I think we have. it's about it's about 1500 quid more than the base i think yeah. that's i think that's a a, a bit of a no-brainer to be honest if yeah I was looking for the 790 I would be, yeah, be you know what, let, let's do another 1500 yeah. and let's get this one. Well, actually. look, if you like a PCP, this is the way to go, don't, yeah. isn't it? Um, yeah, I mean, a really, really, really interesting, compelling package. It'd be fascinating to get the chance to have a go on this at some point well, in, in the new year. Happen. Hopefully yeah. it's going to happen. On paper, at least, and from what it looks like, I think both of us are massive fans. Ah. And you can just know, you just know this is going to be a great bike. So I'm really excited to ride it next year. Absolutely. Um, and if you like the video, please press the like button. Please subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to hit that notifications button. And we're going to see you in the next video from the NEC.